for me. Older singles, dude. Heard this big <laughs> single family, three, four, got, three, uh, three. Charles appraised yesterday for John. Oh, well, how'd that go? Pretty well. The current owner did not get their property lead certified, so it is currently uh, not a legal rental. You need to get your properties lead certified in the Cleveland market, guys, or Cleveland's going to start issuing you building code violations and things of that nature. The current seller has not stayed up with getting rental increases from CMHA, okay? Here's the thing about the government. They don't just give the money out, okay? Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Y'all, when you're investing in Section A properties in Cleveland, you got to pay attention to the bedroom count, man. Big bedrooms equal big rent checks, man. This one I got for you today. 3433 West 94th. All right, coming to you, 89.9. Now, check this out. This is a 5-1. Five, five beds, one bath. Now, current tenant is a Section 8 tenant. It's a longer-term tenant. They've been in there many years. The current seller has not stayed up with getting rental increases from CMHA, okay? Here's the thing about the government. They don't just give the money out, okay? Right now in the Cleveland market, 975 for a five-bedroom, way too low, okay? You got to actually apply to get those rental increases. Like market rent for a 5-1 in Cleveland right now, y'all, we're getting about 1450 for them suckers, okay? So there is a ton of of meat on the bone but you got to do a little bit of this house uh, a little bit of work here though uh as well this house is in fairly decent condition but there are some issues right you'll see some cosmetic issues uh inside the tenant's unit right you got that funky looking ceiling up there right you got a little drop ceiling what that tells me is at some point there was some water leakage uh, so we'll definitely need, uh, through the process, the due diligence process of actually closing on this transaction and make sure that water leak has been stopped and then you just got to patch up the cosmetic issues here. Or if there still is a water leak, we'll need to account for that. In addition to that, you got a little bit of water leaks under their sink. But other than that, uh, like the bones or like the big ticket items, all in pretty good shape, right? You got your furnace, your hot water tank, like furnaces, dude. Those are like 3500 bucks right now. Hot water tank's about fifteen. dollars uh, Both of those are between one and five years old. They're both nice, new, and shiny. And uh, that's big, right? Because furnaces are going to like last like, you know, about 30 years, right? So every 30 years, you got to drop 3500 So it's not something you got to worry about. Hot water tank. They last about 15 years. Not something you got to worry about right now. So mostly we got some cosmetic issues, um, which you're going to need to get those cosmetic issues buttoned up anyway because the current owner did not get their property lead certified, so it is currently uh, not a legal rental. You need to get your properties lead certified in the Cleveland market, guys, or Cleveland's going to start issuing you building code violations and things of that nature. Now, even if you guys don't want to buy this rental property from me here today, uh, you still need to understand what's going on with that lead certification stuff. That is big. These are newer laws. I got a link to a half hour video below where I go through the whole process. Every two years, you got to get your stuff lead certified, right? Luckily for you guys, the issues with this house kind of will go hand in hand with the lead certification because a lot of it is cosmetic. So you got to get it lead certified, clean up some of that stuff, and you guys are sitting on close to five. 500 bucks a month in missed rent opportunity, right? Once this thing is uh, got all that stuff buttoned up, this thing is going to be a friggin' cash cow. Y'all talk about the 1% rule. Well, the 1% rule at 1450 would dictate you being able to buy the house for $145,000. This one is $55,000 cheaper than that, right? So if this deal makes sense for you, you want to submit an offer, send it to my team. Sales at HoltonWise.com. All offers need to be contingent upon, well, you don't have to make a contingent, but you don't get to do a walkthrough prior to making an offer, so I'd assume you'd want to, right? We're not going to disturb these tenants. You have to have an accepted offer that can be contingent on inspection and financing, okay? That's where I was getting at, right? If you just want to make a cash offer or a finance offer completely sight unseen, you never want to walk the property, the video tour is good enough for you, that's fine. We'll accept that, uh, but we definitely want you guys to do your due diligence. You just can't go bother the tenants anytime some looky-loo wants to see their house. It don't work like that. So uh, 
uh, either submit your as-is offers or your offers contingent on inspection and financing to my team, sales at HoltonWeiss.com. And for those of you out there that need lenders, we got you guys hooked up with all type of financing. Just let us know. Let's go. These older singles, dude. Heard this big ass single family, three, four, got, three, uh, three. Charles appraised yesterday for John. Oh, well, how'd that go? Pretty well. The appraisers <laughs> pointed out. I mean, hey guys. Goddamn Fox ain't no. No, no. <laughs> they needed some help. Don't you do it? And just the air, <laughs> air pit coming through here. We lose so much heat. This old ass door is not a security door. And that one it's down the there is not a good door. Can you hold this for me? I gotta go get two batteries. Yeah. Just still literally recording? hold it, yeah. Yeah, I got you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.